Hi guys, Tiana Michelle here. So today I'm back with a DIY video. I'm going to be giving you three easy Mother's Day DIY gifts. So let's get into the video. All right, so the first idea that I have is a gift box. Everything that I'm using, I picked up at Dollar Tree, of course. So I got this gift box. They do come in different sizes like and it also comes with the lid but we're not going to use the lid for now and then what we're going to do is just take some tissue paper and stuff it on the inside to give it some height and then i'm just gonna add my items so i got one of these little sponges I got a nail kit. I picked up some bath crystals and some eyelashes. Now, of course, if you got a bigger box, you'll be able to fit more. But because of the size of this box, this is all I could fit for now. Maybe I can add the glue. So this is the first idea. All right, so for the next idea, we're going to recreate the popular flower, forever flowers or rose box or call it. So again, I'm getting everything from Dollar Tree and I'm reusing the circle gift box that I showed you previously. You're also gonna need um, floral foam from Dollar Tree. They also have these cut down into four pieces or you can get the whole piece from Dollar Tree. I'm also going to be using white roses from Dollar Tree, but of course you can get any flowers that you want or any color that you want. You're also going to need a glue gun and you're going to need glue sticks. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to place your foam inside the box. And you're just gonna glue it down right in the center of the box. And then you're gonna take some of the other pieces and you're gonna cut, cut them down to size so that they fit in the extra space of the box. And these are relatively easy to cut. You can use a knife, you can use a box cutter. I'm going to use a box cutter. Okay, this is what I have so far. I filled in most of the space with the floral foam and for the additional pieces you don't need to glue them down because it's already going to be snug in place from the uh, from the initial placement of the first foam. So now what we're going to do is we're going to begin to place our roses and I pre-cut these down to size. I use a wire cutter. to cut them down, but I'll show you that in a few. So I'm gonna begin to place the initial roses. In instead of starting in the center, I'm gonna start at the edge of the box and then make my way around. And you don't need to glue these in place because they're gonna, they're gonna fit right into that foam.
For the outer layer, I've already used six stems, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut down my second batch of rolls. So this is what it looks like filled in. Okay, so to give it a little extra bedazzle, I'm going in with these jewels that I picked up from the craft store, but they do have something similar at Dollar Tree that you can use. I believe you can find it on the craft aisle, if not the floral aisle. Um, so I'm just going in with these and adding them to some of the roses. So for the last one, I'm going to show you how to make a mosaic letter. Um, if you're looking for the template, I already have a video on how to create your own template and how to print it out. I'll link it up above for you, but I'm going to be using the letter M. You're also going to need a foam board. You can get that from Dollar Tree. You're going to need glue sticks and a glue gun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace my letter out on the board and then cut it out. Talk to me, baby. I've been waiting for a lifetime. Just keep on fading in all these photos. Caught in the memories and captured in the highlights. Just keep on wasting. Glass after glass, I keep hoping you'll come around. Drown in our fights and what? So we no longer need the template. We have the base of our letter. I want this to come up to about, let's do three inches. So we're gonna cut the rest of the board into three inch pieces. Open 
pieces so, so now we're gonna take one of our sides and we're gonna glue it and we're gonna cut off the extra pieces that we don't need you I do it all Now I'm just going to take my glue down and my glue gun and put glue on the bottom part of this piece. Just gonna hold it in place for a few seconds so that it bonds. I'm gonna do the same thing to the opposite side. So now we're going to take another piece and we're going to measure so that we can cut out pieces for the top. So the inner parts can get a little difficult, so I'm just going to measure out where I need to cut. So for this piece, you're gonna once you put the glue on, you're gonna have to wedge it in and hold it firmly. And then also put more glue here to weld these two pieces together. So I'm gonna hold it in place 
for a few seconds. And then I'm gonna take my glue gun and I'm gonna put glue, I'm gonna put glue here and then hold it in place. For the bottom part you're just going to measure out the bottom you're just going to measure out what you need and then cut So for the inside of the M, I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did here and just measure out the pieces and glue them together. So our M is finally assembled. And again, I have a more detailed video on how to create these. So if this video moved a little bit too fast for you, please check out the other videos. Okay, so next we're gonna take the floral foam and we're gonna have to cut it in half. You're gonna need, well, for the letter M, a 12 inch M, you're gonna need three of these to complete the project. So you're gonna Take the floral foam, you're gonna cut it in half. So it should look like this after you cut it in half. And then you're gonna place, place it on the inside and glue it down. So then you're going to take one of the other floral foams and you're gonna cut it into four pieces. And they should be about this size. So for this piece, you're gonna place it down at the bottom here like this for this part you're going to take one of these and cut this in half to form two pieces like this and you're going to place these here and here so now i'm going to take more of the flowers from dollar tree i have three bunches of the flowers and i'm going to cut them down to size so we're going to cut the stem down to about this size and we're going to begin to stick it on the inside. Alright, so what I did was I took 
the flowers that I had and I filled in this side of the M. And I'm going to leave this blank for now. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these purple adhesive sheets. I got these from Dollar Tree on the floral aisle and I'm going to split it in half. So then I'm going to take this piece and lay it down here and it should fit perfectly with a little overlap here. And it has an adhesive sheet on the back so you shouldn't need any glue or anything. It should just stick directly to it. So that's how that looks. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. We fall apart, piece by piece. That's how the little things get huge. Just keep on moving through the beat. Don't let them get the best of you. When you are under the weather, getting caught in the storm. Do you remember? I told you if we dance. Okay, so now that we're done with the rhinestones, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna begin to fill this part with little gifts. But first, I'm going to stuff it with some tissue paper. And then I'm gonna take some little gifts that I got from Dollar Tree and begin to place them strategically. And then once I have them in place, I'm gonna glue them down. This is what it looks like so far, not glued down. And that is going to be all for this video. Comment down below if you try any of these. And also let me know if you like these ideas. Thank you for tuning in to my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you on the next video.